tech powerhouse Huawei has just released two new intelligent laptops for the Philippine market. One of them is a flagship MateBook X Pro 2024, boasting the company's latest and greatest technologies in a very slim and lightweight body priced at 129,999 pesos. The other model is the MateBook 14 2024 with a starting price of 59,999 pesos for the Intel Core Ultra 5 variant and 69,999 pesos for the Ultra 7 variant and this is the device that we will be showcasing today. This laptop also features the Huawei famous premium aesthetics together with plenty of modern features from its display, performance, and AI capabilities. It has a thin and light yet beautiful looking body paired with a flagship-like 14.2-inch 2.8K OLED screen with 120Hz refresh rate, ultra-core 5 or ultra-core 7 performance, and AI capabilities. Due to those features, this could be the next laptop upgrade for creators, office tasks, students, and more without breaking the bank. Let's have a look. The build of the laptop reminds us of an improved MateBook 14S 2022. It still has a high-end looking all-metal construction with tapered curved edges on the cover and chamfered edges on its body when open. Ang ganda ng attention to detail ni Huawei dito. My estimate is around 70% of the parts that Huawei use here are premium aluminum material. Then it has polycarbonate parts on the hinge and keyboard. The hinge could be tilted up to 180 degrees. It would have been better sana if it was 180 or maybe 360 degrees so we could use it like a tablet. It also has three rubber feet at the bottom to kinda elevate the laptop for better ventilation and prevent it from slipping on smooth surfaces easily. The 14.2 inch display including the slim black bezels, is covered in a glossy glass adding a more premium feel. Yung ibang kapresyong laptops, may plastic pa sa bezel. By the way, this device nga pala is available in a refreshing green colorway or the more classic space gray version. Nagustuhan ko din yung paint job ni Huawei here as it is not prone to fingerprint smudges. It is also super slim at just around 14.5mm for the body and lightweight at 1.31kg. So, very easy to fit and carry around in most bags. In my case, kahit maliit and slim yung bag ko, kaya pa niya mag-fit sa laptop compartment together with the MateBook D16 2024. Then, it has a 75% keyboard layout which is pretty standard on most modern laptops. It has the usual key travel, and it is not that clicky or noisy when touch. For a laptop, it is quite satisfying to touch naman, and it is almost complete with most of the functions I need except for the lack of a privacy camera button to turn on and off the cameras like with bigger MateBooks. Backlit keyboard pa siya, so you can use it even in the dark. The touchpad is matte and has ample size to do two-finger or three-finger gestures. Unlike bigger touchpads, the hidden left and right keys are easier to locate and touch. It is very responsive and I find it useful for scrolling, multitasking, minimizing or maximizing a window, and switching from one window to another. Despite its size, this laptop is also quite rich in ports. In fact, it has a similar number of ports found on the bigger and thicker MateBook D16 2024. It comes with one USB-C port for data, charging and display, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one HDMI, and one 3.5mm headphone and microphone 2-in-1 jack. Personally, I wish that it had two USB-C ports so I could charge the laptop while using the other USB-C port either for charging my phone or file transfers. As usual, the power key of this laptop doubles as the fingerprint scanner. It is fast and it works even if my index finger is a bit oily or wet. Sabi pa ni Huawei that they rigorously and thoroughly tested the device and all of its parts to work in different conditions and situations. Maybe iwasan mo lang talaga siya mabasa and this will likely last for a long time. Generally, this is a well-built laptop that is stylish and lightweight at the same time. Going to its display, major improvement from the older mid-range MateBooks. First, this 10-point touchscreen 14.2-inch panel is now OLED which is HDR ready for deeper blacks and better overall color reproduction. Second, the resolution is now higher at 2.8K or 2880x1920 with 243 pixels per inch. Third, the refresh rate. It is up to 120Hz which is smoother than 60Hz and 90Hz panels. This produces less motion blur, less eye fatigue, and a generally smoother viewing experience. It helps those who like to draw with a stylus pen like the M Pencil 3rd generation, enjoy a more fluid painting or drawing experience. Yes, my support to sa M Pencil para sa mga creatives out there, and unfortunately that's not me. <laughs> this display is more than just the numbers as well. It performs very well and it is probably the best laptop display that we have ever tried at this price point yet. It even has an accurate looking display P3 color space that works very well for photography.
photographers and video editors as well as plenty of color modes for casual users to professionals like sRGB and 95% Adobe RGB. By default, the company even gave the device a Delta E less than 1 calibration, guaranteeing that this display can deliver true to life colors. And I think totoo yung sinasabi ni Huawei here as the colors from this display is close to my monitor at home. It even has an ebook mode for a paper like reading experience and eye comfort mode to lessen eye fatigue. Of course, you can adjust its color temperature if you like. I find it personally very impressive for generally viewing anything I like on the laptop, whether it is for web browsing, editing images, or creating a snackable on Photoshop, doing CapCut Pro video stitching, and for relaxation like watching Netflix films or higher resolution YouTube premium clips. The only slight issue I have here is it is a bit reflective coming from lower end laptops with matte displays. Since it has a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, doing split screens to run two tasks at the same time is easy here as it has a taller and bigger screen real estate compared with traditional 16 by 9 and 16 by 10 panels. Meron pa tong 1920Hz high frequency dimming and Tuv Eye Comfort certification. And parang totoo talaga yung eye comfort niya as I can use this laptop for hours with minimal eye fatigue. From memory, the MateBook 14 2024 also has a slightly improved speaker system. Dual speakers lang siya, pero quite full sounding with noticeable lows and clear mids. Vocals will shine here and the instruments are quite distinguishable. In short, okay yung sound stage for a slim laptop. Even at max loudness, distortion is minimal as well. This can compete with a lot of similarly priced slim laptops in terms of overall speaker quality and can even beat some of them. It even has smart optimization sa speakers, sound through HD effects sa earphones, and noise cancelling sa microphones. And yes, for a laptop, matino yung microphones nito. So okay for video calls and more. Mic test. Hi everyone, this is Peter of GizGuy.com and I'm currently trying the microphone on the new Huawei MateBook 14 2024. The unit that I have is the more powerful Intel Core Ultra 7 processor 155H with 16 cores in total, a maximum frequency of 5 GHz and 40 watts thermal design power. According to Intel, this can process 22 threads at once as well. It is now fab finally under the 7 nanometer manufacturing process for better power efficiency while providing greater performance. So even if it is a mobile processor, the experience is amazing amazing for most of the office and creative work I do from doing research on the web, writing tech news, scripting videos, editing images on Photoshop, recording audio on Audacity, and doing CapCut Pro video work. Ang bilis din mag-open ng apps and sumasabay even sa older i9 laptop ko yung experience in speed. Yung rendering even at 4K is mabilis like 30 seconds lang for a 30 seconds video. Speaking of graphics, it uses the new integrated Intel Arc graphics. This one is powerful ah. Even on battery mode, it allowed me to play Diablo 4 on default settings with minimal lags. Playable siya? I also tried it with Genshin Impact on default settings and it isn't as bad compared to the older Intel Iris Xe graphics. Pag naka-plug in pa ako on a power source, mas smooth pa. Let's manage expectations pa din kasi better pa din yung mga discrete graphics. But for a slim laptop, happy na ako. Besides, hindi naman ako gamer. Power efficient pa. Plus, even if nag-gaming ako, the heating is minimal thanks to its pretty good fans and overall structure for managing thermals. On performance mode, mas bibilis yung battery drain. But it'll allow you to enjoy running heavier tasks with ease. The RAM is 16GB and I never had issues when switching from one up to another. This feels just as smooth as my older laptop with a large 32GB RAM. For storage, it goes with a fairly large 1TB SSD with fast read and write speeds. It has a built-in neural processing unit for AI as well. This simply means that Intel Core Ultra processors are now AI capable out of the box. While it is a first generation AI chip, the results are promising. One of the cool things that the built-in AI can do is take advantage of the Huawei AI camera. Ayos yung pang-change ng virtual background para siyang merong built-in zoom app, may adjustable beauty mode, 
Ang galing din ng auto centering and eye contact modes. Yung auto centering naman will crop and frame you to be in the center always. Yung eye contact mode will make it appear na you're always looking at the camera kahit nakatingin ka pa sa screen ng laptop mo. And kumagana siya guys ha! It works on most of the messaging apps like Messenger, Zoom, Meet, and more. Since built-in yung NPU niya, it won't compromise the performance of the laptop when running AI tasks. May mga optimizations din itong ginagawa sa background to help the laptop perform smooth most of the time. But yes, may Windows ko pilot naman na could be your assistant, tanungan, and more. I often use it for research and to give me inspiration to create titles for our articles. I also ask it if may nakalimutan ako. Example, what's the recipe of the traditional dish I'm cooking or how to commute going to a certain place abroad? My wish is Huawei could add more built-in AI features pa. Otherwise, color me impressed. For connectivity, it has Wi-Fi 6. Mabilis and stable naman siya and better than Wi-Fi 5. But I would have liked it better if it was more feature-proof like Wi-Fi 7. Thankfully, it has the Huawei MetaLine antenna. This is Huawei's own technology designed to give a reliable signal, strong anti-interference, and improve wall penetration capabilities. In fact, kahit nung nilabas ko siya sa garden namin, I was still getting 3 bars of signal or even full pa at times. For the battery, it uses a large enough 70 watt hour cell. One full charge is enough for a full work day of outdoor use. There was one time I was running it at 50% brightness at the coffee shop in the morning, then I traveled to a meeting to present some work, and went to dinner while checking my laptop from time to time, I was still left with 30% juice. Huawei claimed that it can do up to 19 hours of 1080p video playback, and in total, we think that it is accurate. If with speakers on at 50%, understandably, must be bilis yung drainage. But this is still one of the longest lasting batteries on sleep laptops today. The charging is via USB-C and supports up to 65 watts of PD charging. Charging from 0 to 100% is about 2 hours if you will not use the laptop. While using it at 50% brightness, around 3 hours siya. Thankfully, mahaba yung battery life niya but hopefully mabalik yung at least 90 watts fast charging found on the MateBook 14S para mas mabilis yung charging experience. I can also power it with my power bank with fast charging support in case low watt ako and walang outlet sa pupuntahan ko. Great for emergencies. Of course, the device runs with Windows 11 OS with the Copilot we mentioned earlier. Then it has the ever impressive Huawei Super Hub and Huawei Super Device which allows easy multi-screen collaboration. With this, I can even use the new MatePad 11.5S as a secondary display. Add ko yung link ng review namin sa description, maganda din kasi yun. Mas madaling mag-work, file transfers, collaborate, and switch from one device to another. Yung PC manager ni Huawei has performance tunings din to ensure good performance always. At 69,999 pesos, the Huawei MateBook 14 2024 Intel Core Ultra 7 variant did everything we expected it to do. Most of what Huawei advertised are true from its slim and lightweight design, nice overall construction, upgraded display experiences, and powerful, smart, and battery-efficient overall performance. Reliable din yung connectivity features niya. The future with built-in AI is also fun, helpful, and promising. With the advent of AI, we can expect this to get even better and have more features in time. At this price point, this is one of the best work and creation slim laptops that I have ever tried yet without compromising on style and portability. I'll gladly recommend this to anyone in need of a slim yet powerful and intelligent laptop with a great display and long battery life. This could be the one if you are a content creator on the go while being good for even kinda heavy office and school tasks as well. For the rest of the availability details and first sales promo, check the link in the description box below. My libre siyang made view SE monitor and backpack. Not bad. Again, this is Peter of Stay safe always. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.